In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to bring in a CSV or an Excel file into Python. So actually how to have it read your CSV or Excel file. I know as a scientist, we work with a lot of data. And if you want to start working with that in Python, you have to be able to read those files in instead of trying to generate that data within Python. So I'm going to be using Jupyter Notebook in this case through Anaconda, and I'll link um, videos below showing you how to use um, Anaconda and Jupyter, um, not done by me specifically, but done by other people. So in this case, right now I have um, four files saved in this same folder. Um, so you can see this is in my downloads folder, Python tutorials, and then this is the actual notebook I am working on. So the first thing I need to do is import in the packages that I'm going to use. And the specific package that I'm going to use is called pandas. Um, and if you do not have pandas already installed into your Anaconda or virtual environment, you can actually pip install it or conda install it. Um, and so all you would do is write pip install pandas and run this in a terminal, not within Jupyter Notebook itself. So we're going to import pandas as PD. And this PD, it doesn't have to be BPD, but that is the typical naming convention for pandas. So when we run this, it is going to run, it's going to import it, and it's going to be done. So there's nothing below it. We can write escape B to import a new line of code below it. So now what I want to do is import in the workbooks that I want to work from. So we're going to look at the CSV files. They're the exact same thing saved as in CSV and in Excel so that you can see that there's virtually no difference between them. But what we're going to do is we're going to work with this pandas. So we're going to do pd.read underscore CSV. And then in the parentheses, you want to put in your file name. So if your file name is in the folder that you have this workbook or this file saved in, all you have to do is actually put in the file name in the file extension. If it's not, you need to put in the full path name. So in this case, I'm going to read in, it's called mysdata.csv. And if we run that, it's just going to read in the data. Now, you can see that I easily did this. Well, how would I do it if it's not saved in this path? So let's do escape B. So what I wanna do is figure out what my file path is so that I can then put in the correct way. So if I'm in Jupyter Notebook specifically, I can run PWD and it's going to give me my file path. And the important thing here is to one, see how it's doing this notation. So in our case, it is doing two backslashes to denote uh, the folders that it's going into. So if I can just copy this, I can now run the same thing. So now I'm going to run pd.readcsv. And remember, it has to go into quotations. So now what I'm gonna do is do two backward slashes for the folder I'm going into. And then I'm going to do mysdata.csv. And we can see it brought it in the exact same way. So if this was in a different folder, it would still be able to bring it in as long as I put in this full file path name here. So this is great and all, but right now I can do nothing with this data. So I'm reading it in, but that's all it's doing. It, all it's doing is outputting this data here. I can't do anything with it. So what I wanna do is set this data to a variable name. And so in my case, I am going to call this mysdata, to make it really simple, equals this. Now when I run this, it's not going to give me an output because all it did was save this, this data under this information. But I can now pull this data. So if I pull the head um, property on it, I'm pulling the first five rows. So if I run this, it's now going to show me the first five rows. Now I can start actually working with this data through setting it to a specific variable. So that's really important to know. So let's try um, mice data Excel, and we're going to set that to pd.read, 
And instead of CSV, we're going to say Excel. And then just for simplicity, I'm going to copy this because it's called the exact same thing, except it's no longer a CSV file. It is an XLSX file. So now if I read that in, again, it's not gonna give me anything because all it did was send it to this, but I can say mystata.head, and you can see we're getting out the exact same information. So the only difference between reading in a CSV file versus an Excel file is that you need to change this Excel um, or this CSV here after the PD. So you want pd.readcsv to match the file extension here, CSV, and a read Excel if you're bringing in an XLSX or an XLS file into this. And then you can do all sorts of things with this data from this point on. So this is just a really basic overview into Python and how to bring in data. If you want access to this specific code or these files, check out a blog post below where I make it really easy for you to access these and be able to download these files as well. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in my other videos that focus on how to make data analytics easier for scientists and researchers.